CNC, does it fit into the workflow for your shop? Hey, Walter Sorrell's back with another Knife Makers Friday Five. Last week I was talking about CNC and the fact that there are some folks who really feel like CNC doesn't have a place in the individual knife maker's shop. Uh, I believe it does and uh, you know it's a personal choice. Everybody's got to do this in different ways but uh, it's useful for me and so I wanted to talk a little bit about what my workflow is and how CNC fits into that and why for me anyway um, I think that CNC helps me to produce better knives and opens the door for me to do kind of more interesting work on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically you can split the world of knife making down the middle. On one side are uh, folks who do hammer and anvil work, forging, and on the other side you have folks who are doing uh, stock removal work, which means you're taking a bar of steel and shaving bits off of it until you have something that looks like a knife. So I think there are kind of a lot of guys sitting up in the cheap seats thinking forging good, stock removal bad. You know, there's sort of a moral tone that's taken to these things. To me, they're just different ways of skinning a cat. There's certain kinds of knives that make more sense for stock removal, certain kinds for forging. And as a knife maker, it's really your job to just figure out where you want to fall in that process. For me personally, you know, I started out on the forging side making uh, really complicated um, Japanese style swords and I kind of evolved my way into stock removal, which I think probably in a lot of cases is sort of the reverse of how a lot of knife makers go. Anyway, I still do a lot of forging, but on the tactics armory side of my life, uh, it's all stock removal. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how you know, that world works for me and where CNC falls into that uh, process. So the way stock removal works is you start with a bar of steel and you shave away everything that is not shaped like a knife. Now you can do this in any number of ways. You can take a file and you can do it by hand. If you look through my videos, you'll see a bunch of videos that I do that way. You can use a belt grinder, same deal. Uh, you know, I, I've done a lot of things, um, you know, on belt grinders, uh, angle grinders. You know, you could do it in any of a million different ways. But the first process is to cut out the profile of the knife and then to drill a couple holes in the handle to hold some kind of um, handle material on. There are a million ways of doing that, as I said. And the way that I used to do that was I would do all of that on belt grinder. So a trained monkey could do that part of the job. Uh, it's very routineized. You're just, it's like paint by numbers. You know, you have a little template and you trace around the template and you just, you know, grind to those, uh, to those um, lines. Same deal with drilling the holes. You just put the stock into a drill press or a mill or whatever it might be, and you try to drill those holes as precisely as you can. So what I've found is that for non-custom knives, that is uh, production, semi-production, whatever you want to call them, knives that I'm producing the same uh, model over and over, um, you know, that work is just not interesting. It's not fun. It just is a waste of my time. And so I can, you know, sort of turn that over to CNC and it saves time for me in my day because, you know, I just have a very, very limited amount of time since I'm doing, you know, 90% of the work on most of these knives. I have a limited amount of time that I can spend to uh, do all the tasks involved in making any given knife. Better that I spend my time on sort of more high skill things like getting the final grind of the um, blade exactly where I want it, uh, fit and finish related things. You know, there are a bunch of different parts of the, of the making of a knife that um, are more high skill. And so that's where I want to allocate my time. So, you know, in a nutshell, what I use CNC for is shaping that initial blank into a knife shape. It's not the final, final shape. 
I'm going to tune it with the belt grinder. And like I say, I'm sort of saving the most high skill part of the belt grinder uh, work for just that last tuning phase. Um, but it just saves me some time. Same deal with the handles. Um, I use CNC now to shape the basic shape of the handles. And what that allows me to do is to locate the holes for the pins that go through the handle really, really precisely. Part of the advantage of that is that it saves me time, but the other part is that it allows me to make a really high quality product. What this allows me to do is to avoid scrapping parts or you know, potentially even delivering something that's not as high quality because you know, by manually drilling these holes, I got them off you know, two thousandths of an inch or something. A couple thousandths of an inch when you're drilling holes can be enough to throw things off and, and really create some problems. By you know, passing that off to my CNC machine, I'm able to get those really, really accurate and that results in a better product for my customer. And at the end of the day, that's really what I'm aiming for. So once I've gotten to that point, I've got the, the handle scales roughed out, I've got the knife roughed out, then I move on to all the same kinds of processes that I would use I'm not saying doing it by hand, but much more hand work, high skill work um, in those finishing processes. So fit and finish, getting the pins and the handle scales uh, set correctly, uh, profiling it, grinding it all to final tolerances so that it feels good in the hand. So in other words, essentially CNC is kind of setting the table for those uh, subsequent operations that are a little more high skill and a little more um, mission critical. So just as a side point, one of the things that for me as a maker is interesting about CNC is frankly, you know, the reason that I do everything in life, I'm not talking about just knife making, but pretty much everything is I want my day to be interesting. You know, I don't want to be working at a Chevy assembly line. Some people like that kind of work, not me. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is find interesting challenges to maximize my day so that I fill it with the most interesting challenges and the fewest boring routine parts. Uh, CNC is a really, really interesting challenge for a knife maker. Um, if you don't come from a tool and die, you know, machinist type background, which I most definitely do not, um, there's an enormous learning curve. Uh, and for sort of nerdy people like me who just love soaking up information, it's a really interesting challenge. And I think one of the things that people who kind of hate on CNC um, really don't understand is just how much um, work is involved before you push that go button that cranks out whatever it cranks out. Um, there's a, a lot of creativity and a lot of um, you know, hard work on the back end before you can ever punch that button. And, and it's really, it's pretty interesting stuff to do too. So if, you know, if you're a knife maker and you're thinking about, hey, is CNC maybe a potential part of my workflow, uh, something I might wanna add to, to my uh, shop, you know, what I would say is really look hard at what your goals are. Do you wanna do a little bit more production, standard knives, that sort of thing? If so, uh, CNC can be really, really, uh, beneficial to you and the prices of CNC machines have come down in recent years uh, so that uh, you know they're affordable by mortals in a way that they weren't you know 20 years ago so second point about CNC is again you need that clarity about what you're trying to do with it if your thing is historical swords or something and, you know like I say I, I came out of Japanese style sword making um, not really a lot of place for CNC in that world um, but uh, you know, if there's if there's a place in the kind of knives that you make to you know do what I'm talking about, which is reduce the stupid part of your job, uh, maybe CNC is really for you. All right, hope you got something out of this, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you feel like you got something out of this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on the link to Patreon for a great way to give back to the channel. Plus, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Links in the description. 
If you want something sharp and pointy, maybe a gift for yourself or one of the cooler people in your life, check out my Tactics Armory website and pick up one of our tactical or outdoor knives. And finally, if you want to learn to make hamons or Japanese swords, check out waltersorrelsblades.com where you can find videos about how I make hamons as well as forging, mounting, polishing, and fittings for Japanese swords. Thanks and see you soon!